Eaton. I'm Jeff Ford with the YouTube show Auto Rest of Modern. We're here today with Mike Eaton from Eaton Detroit Spring to talk to you about cutting your coils. So Mike, what kind of coil can I cut? Well, there's only one type of coil you can cut. Rear springs such as this for a GM has pigtail ends. Can't cut it because if you cut it, you can't reshape that pigtail. If you don't have the pigtail, it's not going to fit. Spring like this one, it's got a square end. Square end, you stand it up, sits all by itself. You can't cut that because you can't rewrap that coil to be square again. Tangential end, such as this one, you go to stand it up, falls over, this coil can be cut. Tangential coil just simply twists off into space. So you figure out how much you want to lower the car. So you want to lower it two inches, which is about the max we recommend on a coil spring car is two inches. You can take the coil out of the car, measure the height of the coil. You want to cut it about two inches, just go around the coil here till you get about a one inch drop, mark it, cut it. Don't cut it with a torch, cut it with a hacksaw, good quality hacksaw will cut it, or a cutoff wheel will cut it. Now why don't you want to use a torch on a cut like that? Good question. Spring steel begins to anneal at about 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. A torch, as we know, is going to be a heck of a lot hotter than 400 degrees. It's not only going to be a lot hotter at 400 degrees right where you cut it, but someplace along that edge of the coil, it's going to be a lot hotter than 400 degrees. Where it starts approaching that 400 degrees mark, the chemicals in the steel starts undergoing a change of composition, and you get a point in there someplace between where you cut it and less than 400 degrees, it's going to become brittle. Chances are, at that point where that temperature is just right and those chemical molecules have been changed enough, it could break right there. Chances are it will break right there. So you don't want to use a torch. Okay, so no torch for cutting, but you can use a hacksaw or a cutoff wheel. Correct. If you want more information about Eaton's products and what goes on at the Eaton Detroit Spring, go out to the website, www.eatonspring.com.